Hi, hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. It's that time of year again when Love Island hits our screens and brings us lots of summer sunshine in the form of a love game on TV. And last year my Love Island soap was so successful I thought I'd better bring it back again this year. And so we're using some Turquoise Delight mica. If you search that, you could find it in the shop where you buy your micas from. It'll be out there, but some of the suppliers change the name, so it makes it a bit more difficult to find. But I think it's quite good if you get a picture of something else up and compare it to a picture of something in a shop where you aren't wanting to buy from you might find something that looks identical that's not saying it will be but there's a good possibility it will so we're using some titanium dioxide which i've dissolved in warm water and then we're using this love island soap stamp that I actually bought two years ago but didn't get round to using it for the first time until this time last year when I made my first Love Island soap so I'll be doing the stamping tomorrow so that can go away on the shelf and we can just get to blending up some of this soap batter now last year I forgot to separate off some soap batter that I could colour with a dark forest green um, but I'm actually going to use um, chromium, chromium green oxide uh, this is going to work fantastically for the trees if you remember I actually used a stamp to stamp the green on but I'd much rather that the soap is within the soap so that's why we're going to separate some off now colour it green and then use it later to pipe our palm trees and things in all the way along the loaf of the soap. And the stamp is from Maya Gift Shop on Etsy. So I've put about 800 mils of soap batter into there and into here we're not going to put the fragrance in to the whole batch straight away because I can't remember whether it accelerates or not so I'm just going to do it layer by layer so we'll have a layer of sand a layer of water ah I've forgotten I've forgotten something I've forgotten the heart the heart I need to make with Melton Paul okay so I've actually got here some um, honey Melton Paul from Stevens's as you can see it's just got that perfect golden colour to it I'm going to add some gold sparks mica into that and I've found like putting too much mica in to something see-through is not that pleasant so a teaspoonful is just enough I wonder how fast this sets I'm guessing because of how it was on arrival like all the plastics gotten mixed in with the soap obviously there isn't any plastic in it now um, I'm thinking it might set rather fast and which is a good job because I need it to I was at the wrong place at the right time Okay, so I want to make a bit of uh, gold drizzle. I've got to use it up. There you were with those bright blue eyes. We were 
Okay, so these have been sitting for about half an hour, so they're still warm to the touch. I'm just turning the sharpest knife I've got so I can try and slice off any of that extra soap butter that's in there that shouldn't be in there. Now, as I'm watching this, um, I've actually got Nikki from Bubble Babes Bath Company. I've got your video on, Nikki, and I'm watching it. It's the one where you're talking to LaRonda. So I'm hoping that I can pause the video because it's actually live right at this moment. And that when I go back to play, I don't miss any of it. But I guess we'll find out. But I'd already mixed this soap batter and everything. Um... And I don't want to miss it. So I'm using here, this is Satin Gold from Mineral Makeup Ingredients and Bright Gold from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. Both of these mix in very well uh, without having to dissipate them into oil. So what I'm creating here is the sand for the bottom of the, the loaf. I'm just two, doing two different types of gold uh, in this swirl. So I guess a part of it is like white sands and then the other part is like golden sandy reaches. Now I'm using an absolutely gorgeous fragrance today, it's um, Aphrodisiac by Stansfields or Blossom Oils, link in the description box of that. It rises a little bit but only a little bit which I've never experienced before. Usually any rising is very, very, well it seizes usually but this doesn't, so strange. So again, as I said, this is our sandy part for the bottom. I was going to make up two, two layers of that, but I think one might be okay. That's here. All this needs trimming off, otherwise it look untidy when you cut your soap. And I need to do it actually it doesn't matter even if I was thinking I need to do it before that soap sets solid in there but it actually doesn't matter it doesn't if it does go solid it'll be fine of you have told me this year that your favourite soap last year was this soap so that's why I'm remaking it today. One question I get quite often is about my YouTube setup. What do I use uh, to make videos? 
uh, bear in mind like when we first started doing YouTube there was no payment program or partner program where you actually get paid for advertising on your videos so we just did it because we wanted to try and promote our business or find other people that love doing what we love doing and they were out there they really were and I really do believe that we've helped to create a community uh, that loves to make product whether it's soap bath bombs wax melts candles have I missed anything out creams sugar scrubs all sorts of things who would have known course the videos have come on a heck of a lot you know we used to just switch the camera on and show a little bit of what we'd done that day and uh, upload it now you've got to be a bit more um, a little more involved and a lot more detail in what you upload these days or people just won't find it interesting So I use a Canon G7X to make the videos. I use iMovie to edit the videos. I didn't use to edit my videos, but I realize people actually do prefer an edited video and then you're not sitting there for ages watching while I go and put something in the sink or, or clean a dish out. All that would have been in the background noise on a video at one time because I didn't even know I didn't know how to edit I'm doing it, it right now while I'm cleaning that stuff off the um, off the knife right so we're just going to line these up now just put them upside down because they'll stand up on their own one behind the other like so and just squash them, squash them in together. When this is unmolded, I need the heart to be on the right hand side. But there is going to be one soap where the heart isn't on the right hand side. So if you want to know which product has sold the best for me, it's definitely soap. But wax melts sell very well too. bath bombs are okay but I think out there there's there's a lot better bath bomb makers I mean there is soaps as well so what you're talking about Karen uh... so this is where the mistake I made was last year um, I ended up having to just stamp some trees and things on there which wasn't very good uh, this time I'm going to pipe some in the full length of the soap and I'm using chromium oxide green I just it's so weird when I first started doing this I hated this green but I love it now funny in it I only liked lime green every green every time I use green it had to be the lime green I wouldn't touch anything else so down each side here I just want a way of uh, making something that looks like trees I'm not even trying to make them look like trees I just want that effect there so I'm just roughly just squirting some of this in down the side so 
So I've added some of the turquoise delight along with some titanium dioxide and this gives the perfect tropical blue colour that you find down in the Caribbean. I don't want a perfectly flat top, I'm going to put something just to resemble clouds. So he wants to bless you, but you've all... Time to cut our soap. Oh, the trees look awesome. I know it's going to look different on every slice, but that looks so good. super cute I love it how weird is that the the shapes how they've come out birds just lots of birds I can see I know it's meant to look like trees
isn't that amazing how it looks like there's a glow right round the outside of that golden heart and you can only see it through the camera lens you can't see it in the flesh looks really amazing so how many anomalies can we see I mean I've got like mermaids on this one this one's like a little kid sunbathing but at first I thought Loch Ness Monster and then lots of birds on a tree or lots of jets like this one just reminded me of a red arrow display uh, obviously witches this one here a bit like um, a bunny rabbit it's with twigs coming out it's incredible isn't it see how many you can find oh my goodness that one's even got the witch's broomstick on it oh ding dong the witch is dead on this one ding dong the witch is dead that reminds me a bit of alibaba Oh, there's some more bunny rabbits on this one and a mouse a bunny on the left a mouse on the right or is that like a unicorn a mouse unicorn and I can see a bottle of something above that that's just a hole in the saw is this one like a bloke working out so that is our Love Island so for this year we've got the gorgeous sandy beach we've got the tropical palm trees we've got the golden glitter heart the Love Island logo with the clouds on the top and some seashells as well I do find this very pleasant because it's got one of my all-time favourite colour combinations and that's pastel blue with gold. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Alright my friends, I'll see you all very soon for another video from Eden Secret. And don't forget we've coming up very soon um, a week-long series of episodes all dedicated to candle making using lots of different candle waxes, wicks, um, containers, silicon moulds, that kind of thing. Alright, I'll see you all then and if you're interested in buying any soap, it's EdenSecret.co. Bye bye for now.